if you don't take it to the interview they probably won't be able to make a decision on your visa that day okay so you have to keep that in mind a lot of people ask me this question because usa mon hello hello my beautiful people welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here in this video i'm gonna cover two questions i received from you guys on regarding your i-130 process without further ado let's start the first question of today's video is coming from mother nature 23 here is the question hi does the affiliate of support for each financial sponsor has to be original or can it be copy so basically this person want to know if uh, the affidavit of support has to be the original or the copy so you know this question uh, was sent under a video i made about document you have to bring to your to your visa interview so this person want to know if the visa applicant will take the financial or uh, the affidavit of support uh, uh, the origin of the affidavit to support or the copy of the affidavit to support to the interview. That's what the person want to know. So one thing you have to know is that on NVC website, okay, here is what NVC say. NVC say, when you go into the interview, you have to take the uh, original or certified copy of a civil document that you submit uh, to them. Okay, you submit to, to NVC via the uh, computer electronic application center okay but the thing is not all the document you have to take on to the interview and one of those documents is the affidavit of support okay so nvc state that you don't have to take the affidavit of support or financial evidence to the interview you don't have to okay but here is the thing sometimes the, the consulate can ask you to bring those documents. If the consulate asks you to bring the financial uh, evidence, a document regarding the financial evidence, you have to take the original of that document to the interview or certified copy uh, to the interview. Because if you don't take it to the interview, they probably won't be able to make a decision on your visa that day. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind. A lot of people ask me this question because the fan affidavit of support or pages are, I don't know, I don't can't remember how many pages, but that's a lot of pages. You don't have to print all those pages and take it to the enemy. Okay, but again, if the U.S. consulate asks you to bring those, you don't have a choice. You have to um, bring those to avoid a problem. Okay, to avoid problem, you don't want to, you don't want to get to that level. And then things gonna get delayed again because you didn't bring the document they asked you to bring. Okay. Now the second question of today's video, this one is coming from Magime Ford 3315. Before I answer this question, if you if it's your first time here, my name is John. I uh, help newcomers, uh, permanent resident, and also uh, U.S. citizen regarding the I want the process. So I want to basically uh, I want the petition is when you're trying to bring your relative to the United States of America, whether it's your spouse or your children, your parents, your siblings. Yeah, that's the process that I cover the most on this channel. Sometimes we cover, you know, other topics, anything that can help newcomers to have a better life here in the United States of America. So the second question, uh, here it is. Hi, John. Uh, thank you for your video. I did a DNA test on, on my I want to repetition F11 at the Ghana Embassy, done with an NVC and transfer my interview to a different embassy. My question is, do I have to alert the embassy here in Ghana to send my DNA test result to where I will be having my interview? Well, thanks for this question. That's a good question. So one thing you have to know is that DNA uh, test is kind of like sensitive on data okay that's reason why when you go to the laboratory to do your dna test on uh, the the place where you did a dna test you know like the facility they are the one that will that will not send the result to the embassy they will send it directly to the embassy they're not going to give it to you and take it to the embassy no they will send it directly to the embassy and the embassy you know will uh, open the package and do what they have to do okay and then they will let you know that you can uh, continue your uh, visa process okay but if you want a copy of that dna test you can contact the uh, laboratory where you did the test at. they can provide 
you yeah they're gonna give it to you the petitioner or if you have an attorney that is uh, you know working for you they can give the test result a copy of the test result to to you guys but now to transfer that DNA uh, uh, result to another embassy I don't know if they can do that because like I say it's a sensitive data um, maybe the laboratory where you, uh, uh, that conducted the, the DNA testing will send uh, uh, a copy of that DNA test to the uh, embassy you transfer your uh, your case to. That I can see that you know I can see them do do stuff like that. But from one embassy to send it because once the test get to the embassy they will open it anyway. They're not gonna leave in the envelope like that. They will open it. So once they open it, well. People saw it, so it can be compromised. You know, you don't want that. So uh, that's why I think it's gonna be better uh, for to contact the laboratory and let them know that okay, you transfer your your case to another embassy if they can send the result, I mean, the copy of the result to that embassy. Okay, so that's what I thought about this question because uh, you know I never heard about this before. That's the first time I, I received you know this uh, message. Um, and uh, that's why I did my research, and that's what I came up with. Uh, and then another thing you can do, which is I think is the you know that will uh, help you a lot, is to contact the uh, U.S. consulate yourself and let them know that hey, I'm transferring the DNA test to another embassy. How you guys normally do it? Because I don't think you are the first person uh, who will do such a thing. Or they will know exactly the process and they let you know. Okay, so guys, if you like the video, click on the like button, share the video, and also subscribe. Again, my name is John. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in another video. USA Monday.